6.45 and I was like, oh my God, I'm late for work. Or is it work? Or is it 6.45 in the evening? I, I don't know, did I miss work? <laughs> so I'm freaking out. What's up, Bass Waves? It's your girl Joy back with another finger. But I wanted to stop by and say thank you for all the birthday wishes on um, my channel on Facebook. I mean, that was nice. I don't know. I just was in a funk and my birthday, <laughs> and I can't really say, well, I could say it was the worst birthday ever, is because I allowed it to be. But I my birthday is a trigger for me my birthday and thanksgiving not so much christmas but thanksgiving is a trigger with family me not being you know very close with family and stuff um sometimes thanksgiving is a trigger um but i've been good the last couple of years my birthday is always a trigger <laughs> but i thought i got through it you know i said you know i wasn't gonna allow you know me to be sad on my birthday ever again I started to take control of my birthday and you know buy my own gifts stuff that I wanted buy, uh, my cakes and this and that balloons and I thought I had it I thought I thought I had it I had my whole day planned yesterday I had appointments set up cancel all my appointments um, I was gonna bake and I kind of started on what's today Wednesday um, I had to take Bobby to her basketball game on Monday so I couldn't bake and that was my plan she was like oh no I have basketball games so I couldn't bake so I was like okay so I guess I won't be doing that you know because I don't really care for store-bought cake so every year I make everybody's cake in a house or pie we like sweet potato pie so I didn't do that which was fine and then I started getting texts from Clinton and so I will say this year he was my trigger I mean I just got so angry and it just went downhill from there I, I'm just I'm just so over it at this point. I'm over it. I have no more energy. I have no more fight. But it's like when I go through these moments, I do allow myself 24 hours. No more than 24 hours. Now, when I know I can't um, fulfill that 24 hours and I'm still in that, you know, dark place, then, I mean, if I'm there for a while, I know that I need to seek some, some help. <laughs> but I was like, Joy, and I can still feel it a little I'm trying to you know work my way out because I was like you had your 24 hours my back is hurting I, I was in bed the entire day I, I just couldn't get out of bed and I have blackout curtains and once those curtains are closed that's a wrap and I try not to close those curtains <laughs> because um it's really dark and so I would say maybe around nine, I opened them, opened my blinds. Cause I was like, Joy, you had your 24 hours. That's it, that is it. You gotta go on with life, blah, blah, blah. And then Bobby, she was sweet, my door was locked. And I had her go to the post office for me. I said, can you please? Cause um, I, that was on my agenda for yesterday too, to get to the post office, to go here, to go there. Um, I wanted to set up some appointments. I, I didn't get anything. I wanted to get my nails done. Just little things for me. I didn't get anything done. And, um, so that was, I mean, and Bobby was like, well, at least you got some rest. Rest that you wanted. Yeah, I don't need rest for the full 24 hours. <laughs> I mean, it was sweet, but I don't, I don't need to rest for 24 straight hours. <laughs> and so... I just, I just couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't. Then I was like, Joy, get on a treadmill because that um, counteracts my trigger. So if I'm running, it helps. And I just, I just couldn't do it. And I kept saying, Joy, just get on that treadmill. Get on the treadmill. No energy. I think I had one hot dog. I did eat. Now, sometimes when I go through this, I do still eat. I did have a hot dog. And I asked Bobby to get me some ice cream. So I had her go to the post office and I had her get me my favorite my favorite ice cream, which is and I'm not gonna edit this video. It is what it is. 
um, my favorite ice cream, which is haagen butter pecan haagen But I have to take a lactose intolerant pill before I eat the ice cream. So I was searching around for that. I probably ate the ice cream at 9 o'clock at night. I came out of my room. Um, I didn't talk to anybody. And I ate half the container. You know, it was a little pint. I ate half the container of the ice cream. And then went back to my room and just lay there it's terrible it's terrible but i do give myself again i do give myself permission to be sad and have my moments but only 24 hours after 24 hours i fight i fight 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 and when i know all the fighting i'm doing is not working that i know is beyond my control but i refuse and i still feel a little down but I'm in fight mode now. I just, I'm just in fight mode is where I am. And so I'm hoping to go live. Well, no, I will be going live <laughs> on Friday. If you guys can join, you can. If not, you know, I'll try to go live again. Um, there were some boxes that were in the, uh, at the post office. So I'm going to save those to open um, those boxes um on the channel on friday probably the same time and i figured and i figured friday would have been good too i know some people tuesday they gotta go to work and i figured friday i'm like what else do i have to do friday i figured friday was a good time because hunty after friday i have a week off of school <laughs> i have a whole week so i'm super super excited about that so i'm hoping to go live a couple of times and you know get my life that week so i'm a little i'm very excited about that so i was like no friday's gonna be good um to go live so you know people not up late and blah 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 so if you're around i appreciate it so i want to open the box i'll save the boxes i wasn't the other thing too i wasn't able to get the gift for myself that i really really wanted um that's a meaningful gift um i'll probably talk about that on my live um, and, and it's a part of my healing and letting go and then I came up with a new plan for my life so I want to share that with you guys so I'll do all that um, on Friday but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up I know some people take some you didn't go live I wanted to but I just I, my, mentally I couldn't and my birthday is always a, oh I'm getting emotional mm, I just got to work child I don't got no time for that and my birthday is a trigger and I thought I had it. I was like, no, nope, I'm gonna celebrate. And I feel like if I don't go all out, go above and beyond for myself, nobody else will. <laughs> so I decided to take control of that part, but I just didn't have it. I didn't have it. I know one year, I mean, several years ago, one of my friends, um, she had to literally drag me out of bed. I mean, she was pulling my arm, and I was like, "No, I don't want to do anything. I don't know. Just leave me alone." <laughs> she was like, "Itch, itch." I said, "Okay." She's like, "You better get up. No, we're not doing this this year. No." <laughs> and then, um, in return, I've I've had to do it for them. So, <laughs> but uh, I just, I just took that moment today i mean yeah well yesterday and i'm fighting i think i'm gonna be okay maybe i'll make it i ain't making nothing i don't feel like it i don't feel like it this year i don't feel like it so yep the kids texted happy birthday blah blah, blah. it was just a regular day nothing nothing exciting nothing nothing special at all zero it was just a day of me in a dark room that I just could not leave. And at one point I dozed off and I dozed off and then I woke up and it was six, it was like 6.40 or 6.45. And I was like, oh my God, I'm late for work. Or is it work? Was it 6.45 in the evening? I, I don't know, did I miss work? <laughs> so I'm freaking out. You know, and then I heard the kids downstairs talking or something until like, you know, I was just disoriented. I was like, oh my God, I, I miss work. I'm going to be late. And child, they don't play that late here, honey. So anyway, um, thank you all for thinking about me. And I've talked about, you know, 
my bouts of sadness. I don't like to say the word, <laughs> the big D, depression. Um, and I've suffered that since, um, for well over, well over 30 years. But you know, it's off and on, but I've learned to manage to a certain degree. And I was telling somebody when you have, you know, when you suffer from depression, you know, there are different degrees of depression. It never, ever, 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 ever goes away. Just like a recovering alcoholic or a recovering drug addict, that taste for that drug or that alcohol, whatever it is, or whatever thing you're trying to overcome and, you, and you're working at it, it's there every day. So it's a battle every single day. The thoughts that go through your head every single day. And but I made a choice to try to fight it. But I give myself the 24 hour permission. And that that's what I've done and that's what has worked for me. Um, but when it gets really low, once again, I know I said this, then I know I need to and I don't have to go for help very often. Um, maybe every five years or so I just can't come out of that hole or the thoughts are just so overwhelming that it's just too much so um, with that said oh I feel emotional I'm not crying today period I did a little bit of crying yesterday because my eyes get really puffy so I've learned to like joy <laughs> Your eyes gonna be puffy. Sometimes I just let the, uh, the the flow out and just I'm like, nope, you gotta go to work tomorrow. Mm -mm. So I'm trying to get my A game on and you know get my spirits up because I don't bring my problems or my you know bad mood into the classroom ever ever. I know how to separate the two and it's not fair to other people. And I just, my spirit and my energy just would not have been there yesterday and it wouldn't have been fair to you. So I just said, Joy, just just cancel. Hopefully they'll understand. But I'm looking forward to opening boxes. I have no idea what's in them. Some of them look the same. I think somebody said they were sitting in pajamas. I don't know. Um, there are four boxes. So, I don't know, but I'm hoping to um, I'm hoping to be able to buy my gift that I wanted. It was more money than I thought it was gonna be, a lot more, and I had some unexpected, very unexpected expenses that came up. But I do have tons of videos, and I will be jumping over videos. So some things you'll be like, mm, she talked about that already. So like this video will go out today <laughs> so i hope you guys are doing well i hope you enjoy your day and if something's bothering you give yourself permission to be angry be upset but prepare to fight and to get over it and um forgiveness is also amazing too so we'll put clean Ooh. i i can't do it y'all i can't all right i didn't talk to y'all to death let me get in this school i don't know what time it is now yeah, I still have time. I'm still early. I got here almost 50 minutes early. Then I had to go to the old house and sit the trash out. So, all right. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys forgive me for not going live. I was going through my own little stuff. But I'm on the men. I got my 24 hours in. Child, my ankle is feeling good right now. <laughs> I, was, I was off of my foot for full 24 hours. And um, I can feel it. I still need to make an appointment with a doctor. But when I have that week off, I'm hoping I'll be able to go to the doctor. So with that said, I hope you have a blessed day. And I will talk to you. So then I might even upload two videos today. I don't know. I just have to find the time. And I can't even stay at school late because I have to pick Bobby up from her school. So with that said, give this video a thumbs up. I love you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ah. Later.